G'day. I'm going to talk to you today about something that's very exciting to me, which is Arduino. Now, don't turn this off. Um, not all modelers are into this, okay, but I had a bit of a revelation last night because I was working on some code to overcome a problem, and the problem I'm going to describe in the next video and then show you the code, but the problem has to do with opening some arms on the hydroplanes of a model submarine. And the problem is mechanical and it's electrical, and I wanted to work out some code to put it in the Arduino to make this work. And I fiddled around probably for about an hour and a half or so until finally got it perfectly right. And I realized as I reached for the wine that in fact, Developing Arduino code is very similar to scratch building. I mean, here I am, I'm, I'm getting this submarine organized. I've been building bits and bobs and blah, blah. And I love doing that. Code is very, sim it's very similar because what you do is you're creating something from scratch, but you're borrowing things that other people have done. You're putting ideas together. You're being creative. And it's really fun. So I'm going to show you exactly what I achieved last night in the next video. What I want to do right now, though, is if you've never heard about Arduino before, I'd like you to pay attention, because this is, this is a, if you like, a starting point. I want to introduce you to it. Although, let me say at the outset, I'm no expert. I re I'm really no expert. I've only been involved for about a year or so, and I'm rudimentary. And then I get on doing scratch building, and I forget about everything. So, so what I want to do, though, is I've got two links on the page at the moment and they're links to playlists, and I want you to go through those two playlists, at least the first six videos on each. If you take the time to do that, you will have a pretty good grounding in what Arduino is and can do without any emphasis on boats. Okay, you're back. Hmm. Somehow I don't think so, but anyway, I'm, I'm not worried about that. You might get a little bit out of your depth with what's coming. But what I want to do is introduce you to the basic code that will enable your Arduino to be able to read your receiver. And I'd like you to go to my webpage, to the Resources tab, and on there you will see a script. Uh, and the script is called Basic Boat One Channel. I've also got uh, a circuit diagram for that. When you have a look at that script on your page, you're going to notice some things. Right at the top, there are two libraries. One is Servo H, and the other one is the Interrupt one. These two libraries have to be there for the script to work. The Interrupt one interprets the data coming in uh, from your receiver, and the Servo one enables you to control the Servo. Now, we're not going to do that in this particular uh, script. All we're going to do is look at what comes in for one channel, and that channel is called Rudder. I've also started the serial port so that when you open the serial port up, you can see what the Arduino is seeing. And what it's seeing is a whole list of numbers. And as you move your control on your receiver, that list of numbers as it flicks by goes between about a thousand and two thousand and that's your operating range. That's what the receiver, that's what the Arduino is going to see for every channel that you put into it. That's all that this script will do. It'll just show you that. So I'd like you to do that. Now let's move to stage two. I've got another script on the web page and this one is called Basic Boat 2 Channel and I would like you now to open that up. Uh, I think I've got a circuit there for it as well. It's just another, it's just another wire from the receiver in. Now, what I want you to notice on this one is that the only real difference here is that I've added a channel called throttle. And I've done that by duplicating some script and changing some names. And I'd like you to put both of those scripts on a page, well, both of those scripts on both sides of your computer screen and compare them. Think about it go through it, because as you do, you will clearly see what I have duplicated and what I haven't. Once you understand that, and once you've got this going and you've tried it, you will find that you can put as many uh, channels in as you wish. I've got nine running on my submarine right now, so that's, that's how you can do it. 
All right, so you've had a look at that. Now let's set up some servos. And the next one I want you to put up on your screen is output to two servos. That's a script. And there's also, um, uh, there's also a circuit diagram. And as you can see, this is what it looks like in real life. You can see here the breadboard. You can see the, um, you can see the servos. Now, what you want to do with this is just uh, note that the Arduino is now reading your receiver. It's outputting to the servos. And in, in fact, uh, it's just like the Arduino is not there. It's flowing straight through. But the Arduino is reading that material and you can do all sorts of things with it. It's pretty darn exciting. Okay, let's go to the next video. It's Basic Boat 2.